Today we're going to make grilled sea bass and herbs from Animal Crossing. I want to replicate it exactly like this Animal Crossing photo from the recipe list. So my goal is, is to get it as close as the Animal Crossing character would in, for their recipe, which is one sea bass and five weeds. And you're probably saying, Ivy, you're not going to go outside and pick weeds in your yard and use them. No, but I'm going to match them with five herbs I think would be a good fit in real life. So those herbs would be parsley, cilantro, rosemary, basil, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to use spinach for the fifth one. I know it's not an herb, but you pull it from the ground, it counts. In true Animal Crossing fashion, we need a sea bass. I probably need to be in something a little bit more fit for cooking, so. So let's get started. So first we're going to start prepping our fish in our grill. Make sure to preheat your grill to 450, and for the fish, we need to lightly pat him dry. Oh gosh, <laughs> his eye is staring at me and judging me. <laughs> After he's patted dry, then we can score him. Okay, so we're going to start by scoring the fish. And so with scoring, it's these four one inch cuts across the fish. And in the picture, it actually has four of them. So that's what we're going to end up doing. So first we're going to actually mince our garlic nice and small so that we can stuff it in many, many places. This is about three cloves of garlic. Okay, so next we're going to slice our lemon. I want to get two really nice lemon slices for the final photo video montage. So just go ahead and we could just get two. So those are perfect lemon slices. Look at that. Ooh, those look, those look nice. Look at them. <laughs> so actually for the cilantro and parsley, we're not going to use these big bundles just on the fish. We're actually going to use part of them with our spinach to make that spinach base that the fish is going to lay on top of. And then let's just go ahead and chop them in kind of small, more edible bits. So we're actually going to save our rosemary for the plating because it is in the picture. There's actually like five stalks of rosemary coming out. So we're going to use these more for decorative purposes, although they smell delicious. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to actually stuff the fish. It should be open where they de-gutted it and then where our scores are. When you're actually buying this fish at the fish market or wherever you buy it from, you can ask them to de-gut it and scale it for you because I was not going to do that. They did that for me, I'm very happy. So now, let's go ahead and first we probably, oh, this is so scary, I've never done this before. Uh, so just take some of your herbs and stuff them in there, you know, stuff them in this weird fish cavities. And then just grab even amounts, garlic, basil, you know, and all that. So I put some in the, the big boy and we want to make it look like the picture. So I'm wanting to keep the, the flap kind of over it. Um, and then make sure you save enough herbs for the, the little scores here. And it's okay if they fall out later or anything like that happens. It's not, don't sweat it too much. He's looking more like I want to eat him instead of like he's judging me. Well, he's still judging me, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and squirt lemon juice all over. So make sure he's nice and lemony. And we're also gonna brush him with oil on both sides. So with the oil and brushing the oil on the fish, you want one of a high smoke point of 450 because we are actually going to be grilling this at 450. If you use other oils, like extra virgin olive oil, it'll start to burn. So I actually picked up peanut oil and avocado oil. But if you're allergic to either of these, you can actually use sunflower oil too, which is pretty cool. I didn't know. I know the most about oil now than I did before this video. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go ahead and brush him. Okay, grab my little brushy brush. Um, so we can pour it on and just give a good brush it. You probably want to brush it the way the scores. I probably should have done this slightly before I put the herbs on it, but that's just hindsight. We're, I am learning just as much as you're learning. Should I brush his face? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so then let's flip him over. And then if some of the herbs fall back, we just always restuff them. Um, okay, and then let's get him his oil all. And usually I said about two to three in the recipe. I kind of went overboard with this, but you know, it's okay. So, and then on our actual grill, we're going to uh, use avocado oil so I could just spray it really quick and not worry too much about it. 
Okay, so now we need to season our fish. So I actually picked out onion powder, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder. Really, you can also use lemon pepper. It's really whatever your preference is, and that's in the recipe as well. So let's go ahead and season him. So I love adding a bunch of seasoning to whatever I'm cooking, and more than just salt and pepper, I feel like having the depth of flavor is really important. So now he is pretty much ready to be grilled, but now we'll want to go ahead and work on our leafy green bed that we're gonna be putting him on top of. So now we're going to go cut our rest of our parsley and cilantro and put it in this pan here. And then after that, we're going to cut probably about 16 ounces of spinach. It can be less, more, whatever your spinach preference is. And also put it in there and heat it on low. And then we're going to go ahead and put about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar on top of our mixture. So go ahead and drizzle it really good all on top. And just like, just two or three tablespoons. And then once you're done with that, we'll go ahead and season it a little bit. So let's put salt, pepper, really whatever kind of seasoning. Cayenne pepper would be a good one for this. And just a little bit of each one. In. All right, so now that this is cooking, we're gonna let that just cook for a little bit. You know, just make sure to stir it occasionally and let it chill at low heat. So now it's time to put our fish on. I'm a little nervous, you're a little nervous. It's a little oily, but we'll, we'll be able to do this. So, all right. So now we are going to put our fish on the grill. Ah. So he will take about seven minutes on each side. Ooh, nice sizzle. Oh my gosh. So while the fish is cooking, we're actually going to make a little bit of a butter to put on him at the end. Um, so go ahead and dump three tablespoons of butter in a saucepan and we're gonna put it on low heat and then we're going to add parsley and garlic to this butter. All right, now everything is cooking and looking good. Uh, so we flipped the fish. His skin's coming off a little bit, but don't worry too much about that. And then the greens, we went ahead and stirred a bit. So they should look just kind of like wet with the apple cider vinegar and then just keep cooking them until you're satisfied with them. And then the butter, go ahead and melt it with the parsley, the garlic and all of that. I ended up using parsley flakes because I forgot to get some parsley from the fish to put in, but that's okay too. So we're actually gonna use this butter to drizzle over the fish at the end so it gets a nice flavor. A few moments later. All right, so hilariously enough, uh, this room is not the kitchen and the grill blew out the fuse. So we had to turn it back on. So right now the grill's in the kitchen. <laughs> So the fish is finishing cooking in there. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start plating everything and get it prepared for to lay the fish on top of. So first, we're going to put our bed of greens on and they, 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 they get pretty good. They look uh, like pretty similar to the pitcher. The pitcher's a little bit more green, but because I added the apple cider vinegar for flavor, it is a little bit darker than that. And we're gonna spread them around. And then we're going to put our sprigs of rosemary on next. Now that the bed of greens, I kind of put a hole so we can make the greens go all around like the photo. And so now let's do go ahead and do the rosemary sprigs. So they're kind of randomly placed like that, just kind of all around. And then we're going to get, I'll, I'll get you a final view of what it looks like once we put the fish on. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. And then we'll put, go ahead and put the two, we're actually gonna do, huh? yeah, we're gonna put the two lemons about right here. And then all it needs is the fish. All right, so now that I have electricity again and a finished fish, we're going to go ahead and plate and pour the butter on top in a nice fun montage. So, cue to that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think he came out quite C plus. 
if I do say so myself. Oh, it's disgusting! Come on, oily, big ass fish. Alright, ready, so heavy. Is really important. Ooh, got a bit of paprika on there. Oh my gosh. Okay, if that's okay, we'll just kind of spread it around. See, no big deal. 